Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Solid Rock. Today we're talking about sin. Well, howdy, hey, hi, how are ya? My name is Sid Roth, and I specialize in sin sales. That's right, sins from A to Z, you can come to me. <clears throat> this here is a training module that we are making for all of you future sin salesmen to teach you the basics of how to go out there and sell some sin. <laughs> Over recent years, selling sin has become increasingly easier to do. With the dramatic decline in WOG in people's lives, WOG, that's the um, word of God. We try not to say that word around here. Harmful stuff, really just terrible. It doesn't do anybody any good. With not people having WOG in their lives, they simply are not prepared to handle sin properly. So we put a personalized little bow on every little batch and voila sold as long as we can maintain in people a proper perspective of the Word of God. I mean the W.O.G. As long as they can think that it's useless, boring, and impossible to understand, business is good. Hey, Steve. Hi, Jesus. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You know that I love you, right? Yeah, I love you too. But well, I thought I, I would just point out that you have a bit of sin on your back. What? Yeah. Does it not hurt you? Uh, no, I kind of like it. You know, Stevie, before it does hurt you, I really want you to surrender it to me. Um, um, I don't know. It, it'll become a huge problem in the future, but I want to let you know that right now, if you surrender it to me, you'll be free from it, and it will never be a problem again. Okay, Jesus. I'll help you. Okay, okay. Uh. See? That wasn't too bad. Man, I want to I fill you up with so much peace and joy. Thank you. Yeah, I love you. Me too, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Alex. How you doing? What's up, son? I'm pretty deep. You're good? Yeah. Hey, um, I don't know if you recognize this, but you have a bit of sin on your back. I don't know. You, oh. you do? I do. Okay. That, it's actually not that funny, though. We, you should surrender to me okay. right now while you can, because okay. it's, it's going to become a huge problem in the future. It's going to cause some hurt, and it's going to be harder for you to... I'm I'm sure she should do it right now. Well, I love you. Hey, Stevie. Hi, Jesus. How are you doing? I am so good because of you. I'm flooded with joy and peace. I'm glad to hear that. I love you so much. Love you too, Jesus. Son, what's the matter? The sin is killing me. The sin that you love so much? No, I don't love it anymore. Well, you enjoyed it all this time. What's the matter? Does it hurt it off? Yes, it, I want it off. I want to surrender. Do you want to surrender it all? My life to you, yes. You want to surrender it off? Yes, it's going to hurt. It's, I will prepare for that. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Ah! What's the matter? It hurts. Of course it's supposed to hurt. It's been there for a long time. Okay. You should have surrendered the first time. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I'm free. I love you, son. Even the biggest and best of all sins all started with a tiny little seed. We start by planting a subtle little lie, something that questions God, doubts Him, thinks lightly of Him, or is suspicious of His intentions, thinking that God is holding out on them. Of course, people have to choose to accept this, this little white lie. So establishing that you are their friend is very important. They have to think that you're on their side. Once the seeds of wrong thinking have been planted, it's time to sell some sin. Hey, hey. you wanna go shopping? Sure, let's go. I know it's a really cool place, you wanna go see it? Sure. Let's go. Hey, this is some cool stuff over there. Yeah, I guess so. Wanna go check it out? Sure, let's go. Let's go. Hey, I think I like this one. Yeah, it looks cool. It's good on me? What's the price on it? Mm. Separation from God. Whoa. 
Hmm. You're not gonna get that, are you? That's gonna cost you a lot. Hmm. Well, what are you gonna get? I kinda like this one. What do you think? Hmm. That looks pretty gorgeous on you. I know, right? What's the price tag on it? Well... What? Hurt the people I love. Whoa. Maybe we should put these back. That is gorgeous of you, though. Oh yeah? I know, yeah, right? Pretty sexy. Our marketing department has done a fantastic job of packaging and selling our products. I think we should get it. Alright. Yeah, let's go. I think I will. Now here's a list of some of my personal favorite sins. Offense and unforgiveness. If you're looking to separate some close people, this is a great isolation method. Lust. Usually we don't get bulk orders on this item. But we get tons of little purchases. <laughs> Judgment, slander, and accusation. This really helps our customers to feel better than their fellow human beings. Plus, it actually gets them speaking in the native tongue of Satan. So we're really excited about that. Fear. This one is an easy sell. And it has a very paralyzing effect, which is a good thing. The last thing we need are children of God walking around without fear. Oh, the thought. One of our main goals is to keep customers coming back. It's a proven cycle. Desire gives birth to sin, sin to death, and death to emptiness. And the cycle continues. <laughs> People are very easily deceived. <laughs> But make sure they stay away from the AOG, the MOC, and the BOJ. That's the armor of God, the mind of Christ, and the blood of Jesus. Oh, that stuff covers everything we got. And then we got nothing. Well, anyway, that's all we have for today. Good luck, you guys. Give them hell. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Thanks for watching, everybody. We love you. Have a good day.